Hey, what's up? My name's Samuel Leeds. And I'm Amanda. And this is the Samuel and Amanda show where we talk about money, marriage, and life. Who wouldn't want to know about money? I mean, money's great. Marriage, marriage is even better than money <laughs> and life. So we're going to be literally sharing from uh, our perspective behind the scenes, kind of stuff that I don't normally talk about on YouTube. And if you like our channel, then this is your opportunity to like and subscribe as well. So you can keep seeing more good content on this channel. And we are going to be talking about in this video or this podcast, we're going to be talking about education. What do I mean by that? Education, so educating yourself, our kids at the moment we're going through, um, our first child's going to be going to school next September. So A lot of decisions. Lots of decisions to be made on that front. So, yeah. yeah. Also as well, here's the thing with education, okay? Education is the whole school curriculum. It doesn't teach you about money. It's designed to get you in a job. So I am a little bit... I wouldn't say anti-establishment of the way the education teaches. I'm not anti what exists. I think what exists is great, but I'm really, really, really keen to see more. I want to see kids taught about money in school so that they understand the difference between assets and liabilities, good debt and bad debt. So it's really interesting. As someone that didn't enjoy school, you, you got one at school. Yeah, I enjoyed school. I think we're opposite in that way. Opposite in that way? Yeah. What are we gonna, what kind of path are we gonna push our kids down? So, in this video, we're gonna be talking about the pros and cons and our <laughs> grapple with what's best state school, private school, or homeschool. What's best? If you've got an opinion, we need to know, right? Yeah, please do let us know because I think it's quite interesting. There is those three options, and mm -hmm. it'd be good to know what the pros and cons are, what you guys' thoughts are. Is there even a fourth option that we've not even considered? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe there is. So, comment Actually, below. Actually, there is. Flexi school, which is kind of part-time homeschool, and then part-time um, normal school. That's yeah. another option. So another it's a option. It's a bit of both. It's a bit of both. Yeah, a bit oh, of both. All right, fine. So we have been down to open days with private schools, state schools, and obviously we know about homeschooling. My sister homeschools her kids, yeah. and, and, and does a very, very good job of that. So firstly, let me talk about my experience. Listen, when we went to that school yesterday, yep. in Beaconsfield, the kids, I was looking at the kids and I was just thinking, they're so posh and they're so polite. <laughs> if we send our kids there, our kids ain't gonna be nothing like me. Nothing. <laughs> now I'm not saying that's a bad thing, maybe it's a good thing. <laughs> They'll be nothing like me. Yeah, they were very different. Like, very. Very different. It's interesting because you're very outspoken and, you know, like, out there. They were very much like, I don't know if almost maybe in those, in a private school, you, you kind of almost put into a mould and then you fit it and then it's like, this is how you're supposed to act. Because you're so not like that. I'm so not like that. I'm so not like that. But you could say it's fitting it into a mould or you could just say it's good etiquette. Yeah, etiquette. I think, because I, I'm trying to think, if I was, I was, I'm naturally more like, I'm not like you in that. They're very nice. Yeah, they were very, very nice. I'm not nice. <laughs> I'm not nice. I'm not but nice. But do you think that's nice leads, nice leads to poverty. <laughs> nice leads to poverty. Nice is, you know, I mean, honestly, there was this one situation. I have my boy there, Luke, and he's two, and he, like, runs around really boisterous. And at this pri uh, no other parents brought their kids. I know, no other parents brought their kids, which I thought was really weird, because if your kid's going to be going to the school, wouldn't you want them to come and see? But anyway. Maybe they left them at home with their private nannies. Yeah, probably, probably. So, so, so we go to the school, and Luke, uh, and, and the kids show you around. Yeah, that was Which really I thought impressive. was actually really sweet. Really, really impressive. So there's two little girls, they're like nine and ten years old, right? They're showing me and Amanda around, touring us around the school. And Luke, hmm. <laughs> we got Luke, we got Ruby, we got Jessica, the three of us, the five, the family of yeah, five, family walking of around five. the school. <laughs> and Luke, my little boy, is going crazy, running around, knocking things down. And, um, and, and one of the little girls is like trying to... You know, feeling responsible for our kid. Yeah. Like, oh, are you okay? Oh, Luke, like, right. And I said, oh, sorry, he's a little bit, uh, bit hyper today. And she said, oh, no, I'd have been the exact same at his age. <laughs> <laughs> and I was just like, I just, everyone was like that, though, weren't they? They spoke like mini adults. In, in one way, I, I did find it really interesting and just like, wow. They, did. they, they were did. just so mature for their age. So that's private school. Bam, 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 bam. Nothing like me. Do you know what? 
what do you think, Amanda, about about what do you think about our kids going to a super private school and being rich I, and and being posh and being well, like me, it was just the opposite, absolute opposite. Yeah, I mean, I think I think a lot of it's to do with personality, and I think we'll see with our kids. Like already, I think Ruby would be fine in that sort of setting. Mm. I think she'd fit in. Whereas we know Luke is. <sighs> is different he's similar to you <laughs> so I, I think he might struggle being in such a formal and you know it feels almost but then it wasn't we went to an all girls school so we probably couldn't yeah. picture Luke there yeah true. but I I'm not really sure I don't know what I think about it I feel like the reason I became an entrepreneur in the first place and the reason I became so successful is because I almost didn't have a choice because I failed in school and because it was just like and a lot of the teachers didn't believe in me and this but that is not going to be the case, is it, with our kids? No. It's going to be completely different. They're going to have the best education, the best... So it's like... I just... I'm, I'm really not sure what I think about everything. Do you think with entrepreneurship, do you think sometimes it's naturally what's within you? And then... Nah. I think do it's you about think it... your surroundings, okay. your environment, environment. Yeah. what you're told, what you're taught, what you believe. A hundred percent. Well, I think our kids are going to have a lot of that from home. And True. then I think it's good to have the option of good education as well. And then depending on what their interests are, because they might want to be a doctor, which obviously you have to go to university for, or they might then just think, actually, I want to, you know, be an entrepreneur. Have, and I know. do think the kids, although they were very posh and very nice, I do think that they actually were good kids. Yeah. yeah. Wonderful kids. I also think that it depends on what Luke wants to do, man, when he, when he grows up and what the kids want to do. Like, I started from scratch. It might be that our kids, we train them to come on and take on roles within the existing company. Mm -hmm. You know, so it could be that it's just a different thing, a different setup. Yeah, I think so. I, it'd be really interesting. What do you think, guys? <laughs> Help us out. Help a brother. I know. State school. State school. Here's the problem I have with <laughs> private school. I always thought private school would be great. State school and private school in Beaconsfield almost feel like the same thing because the state schools are so good. They're little village schools, they're really nice, they're really good education. So it's like, what's the point of paying 12, 15,000 pounds per kid per year mm. to go to a private school when they can just go to a nice state school, which almost to me feels very similar. But what do you think? Oh, no. But you were pushing for private. Yeah, well, I was just really, I was, I was just really impressed at the resources and facilities that they have in the school in private. Mm. I was, and we've been to a few private schools. Yeah, we, I was shocked around, at, around the area at how much they have and how much one-on-one -on -one time they have with the teacher. So, for example, they have like private one-to-one -one piano lessons, for example, which you wouldn't have in a state school. Um, so I, I, I think it was just just the range of different things that they can get into. Yeah. Um, what about homeschooling? Homeschooling is interesting because I actually follow someone who um, is chosen to homeschool and obviously Tiffany at homeschools. And I do think it's really, really interesting. It's not for me. I don't think I'd want to do it. But it's very I, full on, isn't it? It's very the thing full is, on. Though, right? Very, very full on. What's the point of becoming financially free and having lots of time and blah, blah? Isn't the purpose to then be able to spend, invest your time and raise your kids? Do you know what I'm saying? No, but so one other thing is that we love to travel. A pro of homeschooling is that we'd be able to travel anytime because we're not in term times. However, I think if we did homeschool, which I don't think we would, we'd probably just hire someone, a tutor, to come to the house and teach the so kids. So then why not just turn them to a yeah, private school? I don't, I don't think we would do it ourselves, really. Yeah. <laughs> So, yeah. Yeah, probably, probably but right. I think travelling is the biggest thing. So, it's either right. state school or private school, but yeah. then, obviously, on top of that, you're going to invest in your kids, you're going to raise them, mm -hmm. you're going to work with them, so that they're also getting the training about entrepreneurship and money at home, yeah. and then the academic stuff at school. So, homeschool <clears throat> is out, according to Amanda. I think homeschooling, I think there's a lot of merit to homeschooling. I think it's really good. Um, raising your kids is one of the most important things ever mm. to let someone else do that. Oh, for it's your a kid. big, yeah. It's, it's big like, thing. yeah, it's a big thing. And the state often as well. Some, sometimes the philosophies and the opinions and the agendas of the government gets pushed down into the curriculum. Yeah. Gotta be super careful. Really? Can't just send your kids to a school and not think about it. But at the same time, if the school sucks, Maybe it will force them to be an entrepreneur because they'll suck so badly in school. I don't know. What do you think? Comment below. This is education. This is school. We want to see their comments. 
Yes, we want to see them now, so comment down below so we know. Don't forget, smash the like button, subscribe, and we will see you next time. See you guys, bye.